Hey Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. I'm a money strategy coach and I'm here to help you, yes you, save and make money to live the life that you love. And for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my top clearance shopping tips. All right, so before we dig into the clearance holiday shopping tips, I want to let you know that my save $100 in three days challenge is open for enrollment. And this is for you if you are struggling with seeing the money that you save. Are you tired of being broke on payday? Are you tired of going couponing and you have so much stuff to show for it, but your bank account is literally the same or even worse? The Save $100 in 3 Days Challenge is for you. I'm going to break down money saving into three easy buckets where we're going to cover budgeting on day one, we're going to cover couponing on day two, and we're going to cover meal planning on day three. And I'm going to teach you ways to actually see the money you save and take that money that you save, put it into a savings account so you can be very intentional with your money all 2022. Now, if you're ready to jump in to the Save $100 in 3 Days Challenge, it's going to be January 9th, 11th, and 13th in 2022. So you can go ahead and click the link down in the description box to go to kristenmaximizer.com, click on save $100 challenge and save your seat. Now you want to sign up now because the price will increase in January. So you can get your seat all three days plus two bonus Q&A days, a private Facebook group and a workbook that I mentioned there's going to be giveaways all for just a one-time payment of $20. So go to kristenmaximizer.com and get your seat right now. You've probably seen all the couponers, all the deal hunters after every single holiday scoring some amazing clearance or just on a regular day going to places like Walmart and Target and finding the most epic clearance deals. And you're probably like, how do they find that? So in this video, I'm just going to share with you some clearance tips. So let's go ahead and dig right on in. First things first, I want to say that clearance is not a sale. Clearance means they're changing the packaging, they're getting rid of that product, they're changing the price, they're doing something different. So they want to clearance out that item at like 20% off, 30% off, 50, 70, 90% off to get rid of it. So clearance is not a sale and it is always your miles may vary. And that literally means that not every single store across the United States will have this product on sale. Just because I was able to get this, what is this? CoverGirl lip gloss at my store for 50% off does not mean that your store is also going to be 50% off. Certain stores clearance out certain items. Maybe they're changing the display and they're not going to carry CoverGirl anymore. So they're just trying to get rid of all of the CoverGirl items. So clearance is not one size fits all. Clearance is actually something that you have to hunt. You have to go into the store. You have to scan all the items to see if it is on clearance. So again, clearance is not a sale. So it's not like at CVS when all the cereals on sale for $1.99 you can go to any CVS and the cereal will be on sale for 99 cents because it's a, na a nationwide deal, okay? So I want you to know the difference between clearance and a sale. A sale is something almost all the stores are doing. Clearance is a certain subset, individual stores, individual regions, individual states are getting rid of certain items. And I can go to one Walmart and it could be on sale for 50% off and I can go to another Walmart and it is full price, like in the same driving distance. So clearance is not guaranteed. So I wanna share with you some tips in order for you to be successful or semi-successful with your clearance shopping after this holiday season. The first tip I have for you is the classic Kristen Maximizer first tip. This tip does not matter. I don't care what you're doing in your life. You always need to start with this tip. And if you've been with me for a while, you know what that is. What is it? I, I, create a list. Yes, you need a list of what is it that you want. Some people are like, oh, I'll know what I want when I get there. No, y'all, you have got to be strategic about all of your shopping. So I will give you an example. So me and Bay, this is our first time in the house. This is our first time having like Christmas together in our own house, putting up a tree, putting up Christmas lights. So we assessed all of the things that I already have, right? And now we are making a list of like, these are the things that we wanna have ideally for our next Christmas. We're gonna make what we have right now work. I'm gonna spend a little more at the Dollar Tree, maybe grab one or two more packs of likes, lights, but we're not paying full price for anything else. We're gonna make a list. We want a new Christmas tree. We want more lights. We want more decor to put on the outside of the house. We want some more bulbs to put on the Christmas tree, maybe icicles. So we're gonna make a very detailed list of what we want for our next Christmas. 
And that way we know what we're looking for when it's time for all the stores to go to 50% off or even more. So you want to sit down and you want to decide what is it that you need around this holiday shopping period. So I want you to think about Christmas for next year, fall decor, Thanksgiving decor, birthdays, anniversaries, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Last year I got so many like toys and I got Kinsley the Crayola like body wash paints that you can use in the bathtub. They were 90% off at CVS. I wanna say I paid like 59 or 39 cents for them. I gave them to her for her birthday. I gave them to her for random gifts throughout the year. She absolutely loved them. So I don't want you to put yourself into the box and only thinking about like Christmassy items, but anything Anything that has holiday attached to it will be on clearance. I remember one year I got this holiday scented kitty litter and it went to 90% at Target. I got 90% off holiday diapers when Kinsley was a baby. So I want you to make a holistic list of like, what is it that you would like to have, not just for your holiday season, but overall, what are some things that you're like, I really wanna have this. Brain dump it all out into a list. And if those things go on clearance, you know like I have an opportunity to get them. So my first tip of all is always to write a list. Second tip is crucial as well because how do you know if it's a good deal? I need you to start to look at the regular price of those items. Google it at Walmart, Target, next time you're in CVS, see how much the regular price of these items are. Christmas trees at Target, and Target is usually the place where I go for Christmas decor because they usually have the best selection and also the best clearance deals. So Christmas trees at Target start at $50, but they go up to like $300, right? So I know that those are the regular prices. My budget for a new Christmas tree is somewhere between $50 and $75. So at 50% off, I can be looking at like a $175 Christmas tree, a $150 Christmas tree, a $100 Christmas tree to get it for 50% off. But if you have no idea what the regular prices are, you won't know if that clearance deal is actually a good deal because you have nothing to compare it to. So for your major, major items and things that you want, you need to look and see what is the regular price of this so I can decide what is the highest amount I'm gonna pay for it. I don't wanna spend more than $100 on a Christmas tree because I know that it's an investment for our family and we will use it for years to come. The Christmas tree that I have right now over there in that corner, I bought that baby on clearance and I've had this Christmas tree for probably about five years now, right? So I've gotten more than my money's worth, but I don't want to spend more than $100 on a Christmas tree. So I know that going into it. So I looked at the regular prices of the trees to see what I have to compare my prices to. Next, I kinda already said it, tip number three, decide the prices that you're willing to pay. Like, like I said for the Christmas tree, I don't wanna pay more than $100 for a Christmas tree. For birthday presents for Kinsley, I probably don't wanna spend more than $25 during this holiday clearance season on Christmas, or Christmas, on birthday presents for Kinsley. Her birthday's in May. So I have to get things that are obviously gonna last until May, that are not gonna expire, go bad. But for all the major things that we want, like Christmas lights, we probably have like a budget of like 40 bucks. We can see the core outside, we probably have a budget of like 75 bucks. What can we get? Holistically, our clearance budget is around 300-ish dollars because I know that retail value, we're gonna be able to get well over $600 worth of items for that $300. And we may even be able to get it a little bit lower than that. So you've gotta decide your price that you wanna pay for each individual item and also your overall holiday clearance shopping budget. You guys know me, you've always gotta have a budget. You've always gotta decide before you get to that store, before you get online, how much are you comfortable with paying? Because otherwise, our eyes will blow our budgets because we're like, we need this, we need that, we need this. I think I might want those singing reindeers. Like, why not, right? You'll go all over the place. So having that budget, having that list, determining the prices that you're comfortable with paying will allow you to get what you need and not buy a whole bunch of random stuff. My fourth tip is that you've got to scout out and choose your stores, right? Not all Targets are created equal and not all Walmarts are either. So you've got to start to decide like, all right, am I going to try to shoot and go to Target first or am I not gonna go to Walmart first? Cause with this holiday clearance shopping, on December 26th, almost everything goes to 50% off. Like Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, literally the day after Christmas, the holiday stuff goes to 50% off. But I need you to go and scout those stores now. We have about two and a half, almost three weeks until Christmas. Every time you're going, just walk through the holiday aisle and see what items they have. They had like for Halloween, they had all of like the cookies and the crackers. I didn't get them personally, but when they had the holiday Oreos, it's literally Oreos in a holiday pack. 
perfect snacks for Kinsley. Like they have so many like things that literally just have like a holiday sticker on them to make them Christmas themed. Those things are going to go on clearance. The lip balms, the lotions, they have some skincare products. They have a lot of things for pets and for kids that literally say holiday scented. So I need you to scope out your stores to see what holiday items they even have so you can decide what things from your list you're gonna go after at that store. And also so you can decide where to go first. Like I want a Christmas tree more than anything and I'm okay with doing the 50% off cause I know by the time the holiday stuff goes to 70 or even 90, the Christmas trees won't be left. So, so I know that on December 26th or 27th, the 28th at the latest, we need to have our butts in like two or three targets trying to see like, can we get a new Christmas tree, a bigger, a fuller one for like $100 or less? Because the trees are gonna go fast because a lot of people want them. And then tip number five, this is a hunt y'all. Clearance is hunting. So what I mean by that is when you see an item that's holiday scented or holiday branded and it may say 30% off, scan it in the store app. Scan it in the store scan thing at Target. You need to check the prices because a lot of times the prices are gonna be a little bit cheaper. As we get further away from Christmas and closer to the new year, they're gonna be slashing prices and they may not even update the, the signage before it's updated in the system. So because this is a hunt, be on the lookout, put your looking glasses, like, put your looking glasses on, all right? Be on the swivel in the store, scan everything, do not trust the regular price of what you see there on the items. So those are a few of my holiday clearance shopping tips. Let me know down in the comments what tip is your favorite or what you're looking forward to doing when it comes to clearance shopping. We're definitely going to be clearance shopping because we want to get some holiday decor for years to come for our family. So I want to thank you guys so much for your love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe out there as you are shopping. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.